Specifically now, what are we looking at? Greenborn is being floated to address climate-related issues. And we have to do things that compared favorably to what will be used in reducing emission and taking climate action. It is essentially aimed at addressing climate action. So now let's look at the UNEP report. So much agitation is now concerning the UNEP report now. So what has been done since the, 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 the launching of the, the, the flagging up of this um, implementation of the UNEP report? We did the launch in June last year. We got the president to approve the governing council. We got the president to approve the board of trustees. We set off the high prep project coordinating office according to the Gazette. We got applications. We advertised national and internationally. And we got more than 300 people who applied. We shortlisted 30. They came for interview. And a person was selected based on the scores of this interview and presented to the governing council. He was approved. He was issued an appointment letter. He has accepted. We have handed over the documents from the technical committee that has been running for the past one year. He has reported to the base in Port Harcourt. We are using the Nostra office, which is a big edifice, for them to work. What the public are saying is that both the governing board and the governing council have been inactive since over a year now. That's not true. Do you have a funding structure? Why not? We have a structure in place. We have the governing council, and the governing council will meet for the fourth time at the end of this month. The last meeting we had was in February, before the minister left. Could you give us an insight into the funding structure? You know, the report has proposed a billion dollars as an initial takeoff ground, and this will be spread over a period of five years. And that means every year we will be thinking of $200 million to be funded by the oil majors who are involved in this business. And we have opened the project account. We have opened, as requested, we've incorporated the Board of Trustees through the Corporate Affairs Committee as a company limited by a guarantee. Many people are saying that the federal government isn't sincere with this UNEP implementation because are there budgetary provisions for the UNEP report? Have the IOCs provided their counterpart funding? Is the federal government, has it provided its own counterpart funding for this UNEP report, for this UNEP implementation? Well, perhaps you need to know more about this. This is not the issue of budgetary provision because that is the misconception. People who want to run down this program will always tell you that we are not serious. If we are serious, why is it not in the budget? It cannot be in the budget because it is coming from the oil companies. And if you are talking about federal government counterpart funding, if any, don't forget SPDC is a joint venture and NMPC is fully involved. NMPC is a parastatal under the Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources, which is a federal government outfit. So through their joint venture partnership, whatever is due to be paid by the NMPC, they will have to pay according to the shareholdings. So if Shell is doling out something, NMPC will dole out something. Other companies that are involved, like IGF uh, Total, they will also cop on their own share. So it is an issue of joint venture uh, funding that will come from this, like I said, polluter pays. And since everybody will talk about Shell, but Shell is in partnership with NMPC and other oil companies. So jointly, they will provide the funding for this. And nobody is in doubt about the one billion naira recommended by UNEF, accepted by the government, accepted by the oil companies. So uh, I don't see any problem as far as this is concerned. The misconception about if the federal government is funding this thing 100% from its corpus, then it has to go through the National Assembly for the appropriation to become law before we can do anything. But this one is coming from the oil companies. If we were to do a periodic assessment now of the UNEP implementation, it's to spread for a given five years. And periodic assessment now shows that for every year, the federal government must complete 20% of the task. So now, would you admit that the federal government has failed 
to perform in, in terms of periodic assessment now in the UNEP implementation? As far as this government is concerned, there is no issue of failure. We don't even have failure in our dictionary as far as this government is concerned. If you look at the past, you should be asking questions about what happened between 2011 to 2015 when we took over. That is where you will ask questions. Why was this report submitted in 2011? Why was the IPREP set up in 2012? And what happened between 2012 and 2015 when we took over? I have told you what we have done between June 2016 till date. Would you say the federal government has the political will in terms of the capacity to deliver within five years? The federal government has definitely gotten the capacity. We're not in doubt about the capacity of the federal government. And would, what we have set in place, the sky can only be our limit. There is no way we can't lose our focus. This is one project that the president is very, very serious and keen about it. Honorable Minister of State for Environment, Mr. Ibrahim Jibrin, thank you so much for making our time to be part of this episode of Question Time. Thank you very much indeed. And that's it on this episode of Question Time from Channels Television. What's your take on Nigeria's inability to make its own inputs in reducing carbon emissions? Send us a comment on our social media platforms showing on your screen. Join us next week for another fresh episode of the show on Channels Television. Many thanks for watching. I'm Benga Ashiru. Bye for now.